it's the first parade to roll on the West Bank of unincorporated Jefferson Parish in three decades. And the culinary queens of New Orleans are ready to go a week from today. This morning, Acacia Lee Nichols is here to tell us all about her organization and what we can expect at the parade. Welcome to the show, my darling. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me. Thanks so much for coming on. I am starving and not only for food, but for a parade. I love that you all are a new crew here. And I want to first ask you, who are the Culinary Queens of New Orleans? And why did you want to start this crew? So the Culinary Queens of New Orleans is a group of professional women that um, are business owners, but they are also in the culinary industry. The Culinary Queens of New Orleans was started at the height of a pandemic. We started out as just a social and pleasure networking organization that was geared to do things to help youth in the communities, um, women, uh, domestic violence, just whatever type of way that we can um, network with the community, also to include um, the elderly. Uh, giving back is the, is the key, the main focus and um, objective of the Culinary Queens of New Orleans. It's so awesome. And you're seeing a few of them right there on your screen. Congratulations to all of you all. And you know, you are the captain of the Culinary Queens. I want to know who the king and the queen are this year. Let's start with the queen. Why did you pick her and who is it? The queen is also in the culinary industry. Her name is Imani Ruffins. Um, Imani and I have been friends for quite some time. We all, um, we both share the same uh, pain. We lost kids. And it's just like anything to make us smile, to make us happy. Um, you know, the loss of a child is a loss that you, 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 you never ever will recover 100% from. But whatever we can do to mask the pain, not so much as mask it, but go beyond the pain and be happy because we know now, you know, being mothers, we don't want to lose kids, but our kids are happy. They're happy. It, it's so true. And we have her picture that we want to show everybody that she is the queen this year, looking beautiful as always. And I love that, you know, you all slogan is party with a purpose. And, you know, you picked purple in honor of your late son, which is an absolute amazing honor to have. And then, you know, this is a female crew, right? Queens. But there is a king this year as well. Tell us about the king. <laughs> so actually, um, the inaugural king for this year is my brother, um, Cuban Lee. Uh, He's a personal trainer. He's been doing it for like about seven years. And what other way would it be to make history than not make it with my brother? It's just the two of us. So we're going to make history together. I love that. And speaking of history, you all are making history because of when you all are rolling and where you all rolling, where you all are rolling. I want to talk about the parade that's happening again on the 22nd, everyone. Okay, let's talk about the throws. You all have some signature throws that are going to be so cute. Tell us all about They're them. They're awesome. We have signature throws to represent what we actually stand for. We have chef hats, we have wine glasses, and we have spatulas. So that is a signature throw. So on the route, Please shout, throw me something, throw me something, chef, throw me something, mistress, throw me something, missus, because we will have guys that are also going to be a part of the crew as well on the floats, per se. I like that. Throw me something, chef. Y'all need to coin that. That is a really yeah, cool yeah, thing to yeah. say. And you know, why did you all, I want to ask you, why did you pick the route that you all are picking? Because you're rolling on the West Bank. Yes, actually, I am from Jefferson Parish, the West Bank, all of my life, and it hasn't happened in over 30 years. So what better way to bring back Mardi Gras to the West Bank, where I'm from, my community, so to speak. And I love it. And I'm excited. And the support that we have is awesome. It's so great. And you know, you all are always looking for new members to join the Culinary Queens of New Orleans. How can women join? What do they have to do? Are there any requirements? So the requirements, first and foremost, is you have to be in the culinary industry. Okay. Um, you can visit the website www.adnenterprise.com. And it has all of the details there. Membership will open again between March and April. Love that. And the rest is all on the website. Look, Acacia, I want to say thank you so much for joining us this morning. And congratulations. I know you are making your son proud for sure. Do not forget, everyone, the crew of the Culinary Queens of New Orleans are rolling on February 22nd on the West Bank. For more information about the group, you can log on to the website she was mentioning earlier, adnenterprise.com, or you can find them on Instagram at the Culinary Queens of NOLA. All right, everyone, stick with us. A lot more will be coming.